What is up guys, and here we are with an advanced shooting uh, video trying to get legendary using Cristiano Ronaldo. And um, I also want to show some tips for this as well as talk a bit about my channel. But for tips wise, um, in this FIFA 14 advanced shooting, it's a little bit different. In FIFA 13, you kind of stuck more to deeks. If you deeked around the goal, you could get a couple thousand out of it and really help to get to legendary. But in this one, it's a little bit different. What you want to do is make your chip shots, um, get some long shots in there for sure, because long shots give you a ton of points. Like right there, I just got 2,000. And then one of the other big components is passing. For every pass, you get 200 points. So if you make a ton of passes back and forth, you can easily rack up the points. And you'll see later in this video, that is exactly what I do to rack up some more points. But there, then again, another long shot for another 2K. So if you can keep making those long shots, you'll get a lot of points, which is very nice. And then also about my um, two series I've started. The one series I started is my career mode series, Road to the Premier League with Dagenham. It is a League 2 team, and I'm trying to make it to the Prem. Uh, it takes a fair bit, but this is always a fun series to do. It, you have to do a fair bit of simulating to get through the seasons and get to the Prem fast enough. But I will also be playing some games. Mostly the important ones, obviously, but if there's any certain games you guys want me to play, any like rival teams that you want me to play, I'll be completely down for that. And also, I wanted to point out, it's not all about me doing this um, career mode. I also want people to get involved, my subscribers, by commenting below on the videos to tell me like where they want me to spend my money. If they want me to put more money into scouting out some players, my like youth academy, or putting some more money into buying some already strong players around the world but um, if there's anywhere else you want me to spend the money as well that's great too I'd be glad to hear you out or even if there's certain players that you have that you want me to get to I'd be completely down to look into those players and see if I can afford them but then for my other series I have going is my ultimate team series uh, are trying to get to D1 and in this series it's also a little interesting um, in this series, I just started off, you buy a bunch of bronze packs, and out of those bronze packs, you have to make a team. I think my chemistry off the bat was like 60, and overall of 60, maybe 1. So yeah, it was not a very good squad by any means at the start. But I actually won my first game in the first episode, so you can check that out if you go to my channel. It wasn't too bad of a start. Though, as I progress, obviously, I'm going to open more packs and as I get better I'll start opening silvers and gold packs and slowly build my team hopefully into a strong squad near the end of the series but this should be a fairly long series and a pretty interesting one because so I'm sure I'll come up against some crazy teams with my pretty poor squad sorry to say and also the other video I have is my uh, free kick skill challenge video it's also um, on my channel obviously and I did fairly well on that. The first day I had the game, I played that, and I actually got second in the world for leaderboards, which is pretty amazing. I don't think I'm going to pull that off for this advanced shooting one, but I still did fairly well for this episode. And here we are coming up on the 30k. See if we can pull it off. Maybe. I'm hoping so. But also, if there is a third series, I'd like to... I wouldn't mind getting a third series going, so if there's any ideas you guys have of a third series, I'd be glad to hear you out on what you think um, a good series idea would be. So if you have any good ideas, or new ideas more or less, or even uh, someone else has already done it, that doesn't matter to me, I'd be glad to hear what you have to say, and I'll take it into consideration. And there right now, we have made the 30k, so we have got Legendary and Advanced Shooting, so this just about sums it up and if you have any other questions on how to do this kind of stuff I know it looks all pretty self-explanatory but you might have a couple questions on how I was able to get the 30k so if you do just comment below and tell me but you should get most of the ideas from just me playing all the different scenarios in this game and holy crap that is a good finisher yep so 34k not too bad at all and this is the end of the episode thanks for watching guys